Good afternoon, everybody. I want to first of all welcome everybody to uh, City Hall here in the City of Champions, Brockton, Massachusetts. Uh, before we get into the uh, the Independence Day uh, recognition for Senegal, I wanted to uh, thank City Councilor from Ward 7, Shirley Azak, for being here. Councilor, thank you very, very much. Also, her uh, Ward 7 School Committee member and colleague, Tim Sullivan, thank you very much for being here as well. I do want to thank all of the uh, dedicated employees at City Hall, specifically in my office. I want to thank Brian Matter from the Custodial Services for always uh, helping us on flag raising. And I see uh, one of the best Brocktonians, Kelly Hanlon. Hello, Kelly. Thanks for being here. But I really am just honored to be able to be here. We've been doing a lot of uh, events to recognize uh, the beautiful aspects of Brock and all the different ethnic um, community members here in the city of Brockton. So today, Senegal Independence Day, I'd like to just share a couple thoughts and then I will read a proclamation before we uh, go over to the, to the poll and, and proudly uh, hoist the flag. But I'm just so excited to be here today as mayor of the city of Brockton to celebrate, um, again, in the city of champions, Senegal Independence Day. Senegal is a place that is located on the eastern coast of Africa where the primary language spoken is French. Uh, Senegalese uh, art artisans are famous for their gold, their silver and bronze jewelry and the use of antique and amber beads. Women traditionally wear beautiful swatches of bright cloth and men wear uh, equally brilliant uh, colors and skull caps. Um, we, have, uh, we have always remembered um, the different aspects of the city of Brockton in terms of history. So on this day, 62 years ago, 1960. Senegal signed a transfer power agreement that paved the way for its first official recognition as an autonomous republic on June 20th, 1960. And as mayor, uh, I am just so grateful to be able to share in this experience today. It actually is the first time that we as a city have ever recognized and raised the flag of Senegal. So I am just so uh, I'm proud to express the rich diversity here in the city of Brockton. Uh, when we look at the city of Brockton, it's just a beautiful quilt made up of different pieces of fabric known as the city and Senegal and those dedicated men and women from the country that are here now calling Brockton home uh, make up that quilt. So I do want to thank all of you for being here today, especially the youngsters. As a dad of three kids, it's so important to always see the youngsters, the next generation. So thank you for being here. Truly, truly appreciate it. And again, I'm going to read this, uh, proudly read this proclamation. Proclamation from the city of Brockton. Whereas on April 4th, 1960, Senegal gained its independence after three centuries of French colonial rule. Whereas the Senegal flag has bands of green and yellow and red with a green five-pointed star in the center. The color green symbolizes the forest and hope, the yellow stands for the savannah, and the red for the blood spilled in the fight for their liberty. Whereas Senegal Independence Day recognize, recognizes proudly today the 62nd anniversary of the independence of Senegal, and a vibrant community here in the city of Brockton has made tremendous contributions here in the city and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and our entire United States of America. Whereas this month and throughout the year, the city of Brockton is proud to celebrate the contributions of the Senegalese Americans and to encourage citizens to learn more about the pivotal role played here in the city of Brockton by this wonderful community. Now therefore I, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim proudly today, April 4th, 2022, in the city as Senegal Independence Day, and I strongly urge all residents of our fine city to join me in observing this day and recognizing all of the wonderful contributions of the Senegalese culture that has been made in our community and our city. And I proudly sign and seal it the fourth day of April, 2022. And I'd ask, uh, I'd ask the youngsters to come up. I'd like to present this proclamation to you.
Uh, again, we just want to thank you all. Again, this is a historic day, uh, and I want to thank uh, the youngsters for helping. They do a much better job than I could have done it. So thank you again. God bless you, and stay safe.